Okay, I'm going to go over how to set up home all and limit all in the wizard. I'm going to start CNC 12. Okay, we don't have to go and set up anything. Let's hit F7 utility, F10 wizard. Let's go to input definitions. And you go, you've done this drop down here. You're going to go to home or home limit if you're going to use home limit. Um, home limit is you'd have to assign each one of these to an input. If you're using the home all where you seriesed all your normally closed, they have to be normally closed, it has to be a complete circuit. Then you want to use home all. You click on home all one time, left click, drag it to input one. Okay. If if this is green, it's normally closed. And that's what, if you have all, it has to be normally closed. If you have three limit switches and they're all in series, one end of that series circuit will go to COM and the other one will go to input one. Now, if you needed to change this, you just click on it. Now it's normally open. In, in our case, we want it normally closed, okay? So let's go over here to home and let's go to limit. You want to do a limit all on input two, click on it one time, left click drag it over to limit all that's it same thing it's got to be normally closed because you have three switches in series after you've got that done you go over to homing and travel and you're going to have uh you're going to let the wizard generate the automatic home program based on the selection below you're going to use automatic homing because you have home all selected you're going to have the machine uh uh home to the switches so an axis one would be X. Let's assume it's going to go to, to find that home switch in the minus direction. Say you have the switch on the X minus side. Let's leave this here. Now let's say axis two, which is Y, it's on the plus side. So that would be um, table towards you. Okay. This one would be table, a milling machine table all the way to the right. Now, uh, Move, axis movement is a spindle movement, not the table. So people get confused with that. I still even get confused with it. Now, Z-axis is typical on a mill. Z-axis home straight up. That's positive. So X minus, table all the way to the right. Y positive, table all the way towards you. And Z plus, all the, the quill or spindle all the way up. All right? So that's how you set up homing direction. You would leave these... these uh, uh, the sequence alone because you want the z-axis always to home first get up out, out of the way of the table before the table moves and then y is going to go second and then uh, x is going to go last that's what this is about now travel limits because we have x in the minus how many inches of travel do you have in the positive direction this is a soft limit let's say we have 20 inches of positive travel okay in the x direction so we're x that's zero now we're going to be moving in the positive direction. The, t the machine has 20 inches of travel. Now, the negative, we have Y at the positive end of the travel. So now we're going to go to the negative end of the travel. That means we have to put a value here. And let's say it's negative 16 inches of, of uh, Y travel. And then let's say the Z is also negative. How much is it going to come down towards the part? Let's say it's minus 5 inches, okay? And we leave machine parking alone and then just write the settings to CNC 12, con control configuration, write them, yes, wait, and then follow the on-screen prompt. PLC configuration is changed. The wizard and CNC 12 must be shut down and restarted for PLC changes to apply. So at this point, you click OK and uh, you go ahead and shut everything down and at this point it says please power cycle acorn board wait for heartbeat and then press ok to continue you can shut down the pc and you can shut down acorn at this point all right hope that helps